Hi guys, Anthony coming at you with a, with an update with the base blazer. Uh, a lot of you guys probably won't be happy with this. I know I ain't happy with it, but I gotta gotta improve. You know what I'm saying? I gotta improve. So gotta expand my options. But you probably don't know what this is leading to. Look at all this stuff. I'll show you what's going on with the blazer in a minute. But all the stuff's out right now. All in really good condition. These are still pretty stiff. I had them on the Crescendo 1100.4. And then I took my kicker amp out and I hooked all this up to the 1100.4. And it actually sounded a lot nicer the way I bridged everything down. So um, I'm still going to wire them differently and stuff. And then get the 550 by 2 Wow, I can't talk right now. Anyways, I'm still getting the 550.2 for the uh, tweeters. But for now, this is just... What's going on? All the crescendo stuff looking beautiful and sexy. Got a uh, Cartman pimping this shit out. But let me uh, let me go downstairs and show you guys what's going on with the blazer because I didn't really uh, announce this at all on my YouTube. Didn't really announce it that much in the forums. But uh, let's go downstairs and I'll tell you what's up. So prepare. Alright guys, coming at you at this rainy day. Uh, I got some bad news and some good news as usual. But uh, this kind of came out of nowhere, and I'm sorry I didn't let you guys know, and I'm sorry you guys didn't get demos from me, the people that wanted demos. Uh, but don't worry, I'm not done with bass or anything like that, but I am restoring this car to stock. I am ripping everything out. I was planning on selling this car and buying a Tahoe. But, uh, damn, I'm so sad. We just finished all this, and we're already ripping it out, but, um... Just me here right now. Some of my friends might come by and watch, but uh, pretty much what the what the reason is, uh, I'm moving out with my with my really really good friend. I've been friends with him for so many years. Never once had a single issue or anything, and he's really, he's pretty much a brother to me. I would do anything for him. We all got friends like that, but uh, he's practically a brother for me. So. Uh, I wanted to have four seats at least, or five seats, so I was like, I'll just sell my car and buy a Tahoe. But right now, I just put a bunch of work into this Blazer, like rotors, brake pads, chocks, just so much stuff. I don't even want, like, I'd, I can put the list in the description below because I don't want to talk too much. I just want to do this whole pull-out thing, but <laughs> pull-out, team pull-out. Anyways, um... Yeah, so pretty much the plan is to just keep the blazer restored to stock. I do have good news. I will. I'll just, I don't even have to say it. If you're a real bass head, you already know. You already know what's up. If you see this shit, you already know what's going on. You don't even know. If you ain't, if you ain't a bass head, you don't know. But uh, if you are, you know what's up. So, uh, I got that going on. I will be doing that <clears throat> probably tomorrow or the next day. I have the next three days off, so... Should be fun. I should have all this ripped out probably within the next couple hours and have it most of the pieces back in. I think the part that's going to take the longest to do is cutting all the rivets and stuff for these little holes and all the clips and everything. But I do have all the OE stuff, like every single piece. like every, And I have all the carpet and stuff in the white shed still, but it's raining right now and I don't feel like loading that stuff up. So <sighs> right now I'm about to rip this wall out and then turn it back to stock and then do my doors and for now just keep the blazer there's 100 percent nothing mechanically wrong with it. it is a great car um i'm just not gonna have as crazy bass as i did before i will have bass just nothing nothing <laughs> nothing like this but i will be getting a tahoe probably by next season and i will be walling again with either a flat wall or a fourth order kind of want to do fourth order because the flat wall was fun and all but i like doing fourth orders because you can put more design into it but i'm going to stop talking because this video is going to be way too long and i don't want to bore you guys too much but uh if you watch this journey of me ripping this out again if you guys have been here since i put everything in you'll understand how much that's going to hurt me but it's got to do it you know got to have four seats so I'm still gonna have doors though, and I will have subs, so it won't be so bad. But yeah, but like the plan is, uh, get a Tahoe, oh, do a wall or a flat wall or fourth order or something, and uh, be able to have four or five seats at least with all that stuff still in there. So that'll be good. Uh, still gonna be going to shows and everything. This doesn't mean nothing's gonna stop. Like, oh, I'm done with freaking wall. I'm not gonna go to shows. That's that's totally lie. I'm still going to state finals. 
uh, still going to be going to all the local shows and stuff like that. Still going to be taking videos for you guys so you guys can watch it. Hopefully, I don't do the whole walking on the ground thing the whole time. Sorry about that. I was just too busy seeing everyone and all that stuff. I was just mostly trying to get you guys to be able to see that. But that's besides the point. I'm talking a lot again. So how about we rip this motherfucker apart? Going to get a sledgehammer, a jigsaw, and freaking a jigsaw. I have a sawzaw. <laughs> Me here fucking for a while if it's a jigsaw. But anyways... Uh, I'm going to be taking these two panels out separately and tucking all the wires aside so nothing gets damaged while I uh, destroy this thing. So, have fun watching. It will not be as nearly as fun as it is for me because I'm going to be literally destroying this thing. But, uh, alright guys, here we go. Let's do this.